All right, so this is the most important part, y'all. So this is what we have um, cooked the pork cutlet in um, the the grease that we put the pork, pork cutlet in. So what we gonna do? Thank you so much. Thank you to my assistant, Sawanda Perry. She ain't call me. I do appreciate her ass because I was struggling around this motherfucker. But anyways, you see, we got the mushrooms. Bam. We got the onions. Bam. We got a little bit of garlic. A little bit more garlic. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what we gonna do is we gonna saute this down a little bit. Let the let the onions get a little brown. Let all the flavors get into the mushrooms. Then after that, we're gonna add beef stock, some white wine. You know it's gonna be good if you gotta add liquor to some shit. After that, some heavy whipping cream to make the roux all creamy and stuff. And then we're gonna put it on top of these. Here's the pork cutlets right here that I have fried up. And then we're gonna fry some uh, french fries. And that should be about it. It should be simple. Now over here, check this out. While that's doing this thing, because I got it all low, I have some cut up dill, some English cucumbers, some red onions over here, because we're making a cucumber salad. Excuse me, I gotta open this, it's fresh. Everything brand new around here. I'm just playing. I just went grocery shop. You know, stamps hit, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, a little bit of mustard. About a teaspoon or so of uh, <coughs> milk. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I. I don't measure shit. I don't. My ancestors whisper in my ear, "Stop, my child." That's 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 how I know when to stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to probably use white vinegar, but I prefer apple cider vinegar. Put a little bit of that in there. Some pepper. Woo! I didn't fuck up. Ah, I thought I fucked up. <laughs> Some salt. Ha! Bam! Like emerald. You know what I'm saying? And what we're going to do is we're going to mix it up. We're going to mix this. And that's pretty much... This is pretty much homemade yogurt dressing you know what I'm saying because I did um unflavored yogurt and we're gonna mix this up and then we're gonna put this in the refrigerator to cool off to get cold or whatever it's my song y'all and boom Hello. we're gonna put some saran wrap over this stick this Ooh. bad boy in the refrigerator I gotta wash my hands. Hold up. Always wash your hands, y'all. A good cook might be cooked oh, okay. messy, but your hands is always clean. You dig? Hold on. Taste that tea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, what? It's good. Uh-huh. Alright. So boom. So check this out. I done finished that up. Oh shit, look at that. This is getting where it got to be. Alright, oh. Of course, you know I'm gonna need some flour. Uh -huh. So I can thicken that up. Now about two or three tablespoons of flour is pretty much all you need. You know? I said call me on your lunch break. Bam. Mix this up. Let that get all in the oils and whatnot because actually the flour is what makes everything thick you know what i'm saying that, that's that's what the flour does you see how it's getting thick already i pretty much soaked up all that oil and whatnot need about i don't know let's say two cups of beef broth but i didn't tell you i don't measure shit. i don't know that look about like two cups i'll stop and my wine. I mean, I knew I was gonna need this shit, yo. 
my ex's little boyfriend brought that shit over. That's a story for another fucking day. But anyways. What kind of wine is that? It's white wine. White wine. Some white box wine. Y'all don't have to be all fancy. You know, I got some other white wine over here too. But it's all the same shit. Oh, it's getting drunk though. Alright. Boom. Oh. Gotta let that do what it do. Ooh, don't smell so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I should try it. Don't try this at home. Maybe I'm not a cook. Look at that. You see how it's thickening it up already? Oh. Oh. These haters on my body, shake them off. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more beef broth to that. Just in case I need to thicken it up. Throw my flour next to me. Bam. Look at that shit down. Look at that shit down. See how I was thickening it up. And that, that's what we're going to put over the shit. So... Doing surgery, they left my utensils in my shit. <coughs> if doctors could do it, I damn sure can. <laughs> Getting thick. And let this cook down or whatever. Um, throw some paprika. Germans put that shit in everything for some reason. Like, isn't paprika just for fucking uh, color? Like, what does paprika do? I don't know, but that's what the recipe calls for, so fuck it, right? Hmm. It's called the Rican Chef, so, you know, I got to throw some adobo in that shit. Mm. Adobo goes in everything. Yes, I saw them. And if I could, so frito go in that shit, too. Oops. Dropping shit. Some garlic powder. Turn this down. Where's my pepper? Pepper's over there, right? You thought I fucked up with the pepper earlier. I kind of did, but it still came out good. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that. Mm. What it smell like, T? Heaven. Ah. Uh, She's in heaven. Because I do this, y'all. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. Thank you for supporting me through everything. And then, then check this out. This is when it get real fat and nasty. You see this heavy whipping cream? <laughs> Ugh. Look at that, y'all. Need a little bit more paprika in there. And look at that shit. You ready to taste test tea? Mm-hmm. You, you trying to taste one of these uh these mushrooms? With the sauce. With the sauce. I'm saucy. She's so sick. Yeah. Ooh. They got the swag, so all they dip is swag. Ooh, the, what the, ooh, all right. Rinse that off. Gotta blow it for my friend, because I'm just nice like that. Gotta taste her creation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's it right there. I like it cause it ain't. You know the mushrooms is they got that little you know that crunch little to it. To it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
You say you don't, you don't ever want to overdo it. your mushrooms. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to still taste the mushroom mm -hmm. in it. You know, you the shit gets soggy and yeah. kind of mushy. Yeah. I don't like that. It's all about texture. See, I eat yeah. with my eyes before I eat with my mouth. You know what I'm saying? If it don't look right, I ain't touching it. I ain't touching it. That's why you can't eat everybody's food and shit. Yeah. We ain't healthy over here for no reason now. Ha. Facts. Super facts. We know about food. You see that? That's gourmet over there. That's straight yeah. from scratch. So that's it. So what it's going to do is going to sit there. It's going to thicken up a little bit. I'm going to put it on these um, pork cutlets right here. And boom, there you got. You got schnitzel. That's it. I'm going to fry some french fries. You know how to fry french fries. Do you? I ain't going to show you how to fry it. I'm going to fry some french fries. Put that on the side. I'm going to plate it. Make sure my... um. My cucumber salad is right there next to it because you need to have some green leafies. You know what I'm saying? Got to tell my son, always eat your green vegetables and shit. Can't have a, a meal righteously without any green leafies. So we got that going. We about to put that in the refrigerator, let it cool. I'll be back. I'll show y'all the plate when we about to eat. I hope y'all enjoyed this segment. And um, I'll catch y'all later. It's Aisa, the Puerto Rican chef. The Rican chef. <laughs>